Year 11, it is mock season, which means I'd like to say have a nice holiday, but for quite a lot of you, you won't be having a nice holiday. Um, schools spread mocks over a really, really long period of time between October, November, December, January, and some even into February. And some will do mock number one in October and then a second mock in March. So mock season is really, really long. And the Christmas holidays, where you've got two weeks or you're lucky enough to get three weeks, falls smack bang in the middle of it. Now some of you will have done your mocks and already got your results. Some of you will have done your mocks and then they'll be marked over Christmas so you don't know what your results are. And some of you have your mocks after Christmas where the school has been kind enough, not kind enough, I can never decide, um, to give you the holidays to revise and then do your mocks straight when you get back. I can never decide whether I think that's a good idea or not because you get the revision time but then you also have to revise. Um, yes, so in this video we're going to go through what you should be doing if you're in any of those three circumstances. Now the first thing that you need to do over this holiday break, the most important thing that you need to do over this holiday break is relax. Uh, sleep in, take some time with your friends, take some time with your family, take some time watching really, really rubbish box sets on Netflix and playing computer games and spending too much time looking at your phone because you need to recharge your batteries, you need to relax and have a break from school and um, yeah, relax, that is the most important thing you can do. However, on the uh, off chance that you do get a little bit bored of all this relaxing or not seeing your friends and you want to do some revision over the holidays then here are a few good things that you can be doing. Now if you've got your mocks back, if you've got your results back then hopefully your teacher will have provided some feedback with that and I know this probably looks like some really really long boring extra work that the teacher has set you to do but there is so much evidence in teaching in education that responding to feedback is one of the very, very best things that you can do to improve your grade. So is not your teacher giving you loads of extra work to do, is not your teacher just making you do stuff for the sake of making you do stuff, it is because there is lots of evidence that shows you this is the very, very best thing you can do to improve. And if your teacher hasn't given you any feedback, then hopefully you've got your exam paper back and you can have a look at it and um, work out where there are gaps in your knowledge. Did you completely miss a whole question out for some reason? What was that question on? Do you need to go and look at the textbook or look at a video and learn the stuff about that and then try that question again? If you haven't got your exam paper back to identify any gaps, then go through either a free revision guide that I've written on the website and work out which bits you know and which bits you don't know. This is the sort of thing that doesn't have to take up, like it's not a lot of hard work for you to do, but now is a really, really good time to do it. Because if we can spend the it's Christmas holidays filling in the gaps of stuff from year 9, filling in the gaps of stuff from year 10, then we don't have to spend the Easter holidays doing it when, to be honest, you're going to have a lot of stuff to be doing in the Easter holidays. Is there anything that you thought you were really, really confident about, but when it came to the actual exam, you're kind of like, oh, I, can't, I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't get the marks. Try and get your hands on the mark scheme and work out why you didn't get the marks. Was it just something to do with the way you phrase things or was it a complete misunderstanding of the topic? I know that people write brilliant answers for describe and explain questions but so often are getting those confused that you can write a perfectly correct scientific answer but not get actually get any of the marks. So is it to do with your knowledge or is it to do with your exam technique? And um, is that maybe the reason why you weren't picking up the mark? Now, if you've done your mocks but haven't got your results back, I know you're probably gonna be spending a lot of time worrying about the results. Um, and please try not to, mainly because there's nothing you can do about it. And staying up all night worrying or stressing or being really anxious and crying isn't actually going to change your results. Now there are lots of things that you can do to make sure that once you do your actual exams you don't feel like this again and they're really really similar to things that I just talked about. Try and think back through the exams. Were there any questions you just didn't understand and then without necessarily needing to be told by your teacher go and look that up, go and revise that bit and then maybe for when you go back into school say miss 
So I know I didn't do that question very well. I'm really, really sorry. But here's what I did over Christmas holidays. I made a mind map on it. Or I did some six questions, uh, six mark questions on it. Or I made some flashcards on this topic. Because I know that I didn't do very well. And I know you're not going to be like not happy with me for not doing very well. So this is what I've done. So try and kind of like preempt um the teacher being annoyed or disappointed with you so you kind of like say look i know i didn't do very well on that bit this is what i've already done to fix the hole and then maybe you'll kind of like have done the feedback already or maybe there was just a little bit of misunderstanding and you've now gone and fixed that if you've got your results back and you're not very happy with your results and you're disappointed with your results then we need to think about whether it was the knowledge or whether it was the skills or whether it was how you were revising so if it's just because you've got big big gaps in your knowledge then we need to think about how to get the knowledge into your head and one of the best ways that's been shown to do that is with something called retrieval practice and this basically means doing lots and lots of questions over and over and over again now i know that sounds like loads and loads of hard work but it doesn't have to be what i've made for you over my website are literally thousands of multiple choice questions that you can just sit there on your phone on the bus on the way to school while you're waiting for your friends and just go through the questions and try and kind of like turn what is kind of like a superficial knowledge into a long-term knowledge in your mind if the reason you didn't get very good results was kind of like a skills base um are you not interpreting questions in the exam in the right way um is it something to do with the math problems in the exam um is it something to do with kind of like the language that you're using in the exam then these are all things that can be fixed if you've got the knowledge but you just can't put them into practice in the exams then what you need to be doing is lots and lots of practice papers and looking at the mark schemes so looking at when this command word is used or when a question is phrased like this this is what i need to be doing or this is what my answer needs to look like now all examples and all subjects have past papers up on the internet and you can just go and google those and download those um i've written loads of predictive papers over on my website as well to help you in subjects where there aren't that many papers out there if you were a bit disappointed with your exam results then try and come up with a plan of action so so you can go to your parents and say look i didn't do very well in maths i got a, a four and i really wanted to get a six or a seven this is what i'm going to do so plan out when you're going to do your study plan out any extra support that you need say to your teachers or your parents look um i'm really really struggling in this um i think i need a tutor um can you help me out with this or go to your teachers and say look i really really don't understand this subject can you help me with this and chances are your teachers are going to say yes that's fine come and see me at this lunchtime and i'll go over it then with you or try and say to your teachers look i've planned out what i'm going to do each past exam paper i'm going to do this one this week this one this week this one this week so instead of just sitting there and kind of like people telling you what to do and just kind of like accepting things say go to your parents go to your teachers and say look I'm not very happy with these exam rules and this is what I'm going to do about it. So be proactive, come up with a plan. And these plans can be just really simple, like getting your homework diary and writing in what you're going to do for revision for that on that um, week, or on that day. So you're going to make flashcards, you're going to do flashcards, you're going to do some more quiz questions on my website, or you can do some practice papers that you've downloaded. There are lots and lots of things you can do to kind of like stop people being annoyed with you about your mock results now if you haven't done your mocks yet it is really really important that you make time to relax over christmas and i don't just mean giving yourself lunch time off on christmas day or whatever day it is it is important that you spend a significant amount of time relaxing because it will do you really really good we don't need to get back to school in january and still be tired and still be exhausted because this has been a really hard term it's been a really long term it's dark and it's cold and it's miserable and well everyone gets a bit grumpy in this term because it's long and it's cold and dark and not very nice things get brighter when we go back to school but you do need to be rested. When we're talking about your revision, lots of things I've already talked about are going to be really, really good for you. So the retrieval practice, doing lots more to choice questions over and over and over again, little and often. Working out where you've got gaps in your knowledge. So using specification, using the revision guides to work out 
which bits from year 10, year 9 that you need to go over again. And using past papers and uh, looking at the mark scheme, so this is what the examiner is looking for when they say this sort of thing in the question. So trying to kind of get into the mind of the examiner. Um, we are we are in the home stretch of the exams. I know they feel like a really, really long way away because it's next year, but next year isn't that far away. So I'm really sorry guys. Um I know mocks come at a really, really horrible time of year when you just want to be relaxing and eating chocolate and watching really, really trashy films, but um we can do this. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.